not gonna see one more day. Hello everybody, I'm here with Cole Armour, independent recording artist and singer. You might recognize him from having been on The Ellen Show or from singing the national anthem on the NHL games or from any of the other performances he's done because he's done tons. So first of all, I want to thank you for, for this interview. I oh, appreciate you. your time. So you started singing when you were nine years old and yes. you're currently 14. And when you started singing, it all led to this series of events. So tell us a little bit about it. How did it happen? Well. Uh, when I was younger around the house, uh, my dad had gotten my mom a karaoke machine. Oh, and, chance, and I, it was mainly for my mom, but I adopted it in a way. I, it was mine. I, as soon as I sang on it, I enjoyed it. I just thought to go on with it and I went into competitions and I remember the first time I was going to sing. I was so, so nervous. I didn't want to do it, but then I did it and then you want to do it again and you want to do it again and it just escalated. But I have no choice but to take my life and just walk right out that door. And obviously, you're very passionate about singing. So, what is it that you feel? What's the emotion that you get when you sing? Well, I. It depends really on what I'm singing. Like, I feel like I get more emotion in the music that I write myself. It all depends. Like, it doesn't matter to me what genre you sing, if you have feeling. As Cole continued to participate in local shows, his talent caught the attention of an Emmy Award winning talk show host. Because I like the Ellen Jenner show. And how did that feel? It was really cool. From Langley, British Columbia, please welcome 12 year old singer Cole Armour. It's funny because we got the call here. We weren't home, we were gone for a few hours, and my brother was home, and the executive producer had called. And he, he didn't pick up the phone. So we came home. And then we're all sitting outside and he comes out and he says, oh yeah, and then someone called from the El DeGeneres show and we're like freaking out thinking, okay, why didn't you tell us? Cole's success was not easy as he was constantly doubted by many who surrounded him. When I go to school, I mean, I always get told I can't do things. I've always been told I can't be a singer. I'm not good enough. I can't do this. But um, I've been told I would never, ever make it on TV, and yet I have. I've done so much, and the words that people tell you will only mean something if you let it mean something. Hang on anymore. What are you working on currently? I just finished writing a new song called Abnormal Monsters, and my first single I released to radio was phenomenal, and now my second that just went out is original. It's doing really good. Last I heard it's at 37 on Billboard. Um, Mainly that to get it and with record labels and stuff, things like that, um, we'll be doing a lot more of so. Thank you, Cole, for being with us on the show today. Thank I'm you. Maria Rosa for Local Connection. Thank you. Um, I'm Maria Rosso for Local Connection. <laughs> <laughs> really weird. Can